This tutorial demonstrates how to control the timeline using buttons in Hippo Animator 1.4. Normally the movie starts at frame 0, and plays until the last frame. Then it loops back to the start. In this tutorial we will turn off autoplay, and loop, in the movie properties. To make the movie play, stop and loop, we will use buttons. Add a new button to the library, and set the text of the button to start. Add the button to the editor at frame 0. Then, movie the timeline to frame 10. Add a second button, and change the text to return. Add the return button to the timeline at frame 10. We want to make the start button invisible at frame 10. So, add a new frame to the start button at frame 10 and turn off visible. Now, the start button is visible at frame 0, and the return button is visible at frame 10. The buttons don't do anything yet, and the movie doesn't play. We need to add script, to the buttons. Select the start button in the library and press the on-click property. The available script functions are displayed in the options. Choose the go to and stop script, and set the frame to 10. Select the return button. Set the unclick script to go to and stop 0. Clicking the start button sends the movie to frame 10. Clicking the return button sends the movie back to frame 0. Let's try something more complicated. Start a new movie. Add a circle to the library and the editor. Place it at frame 0, then, at frame 11, move the circle so it animates and make it invisible. We want to make sure the circle is visible from frame 0 to 10, but then hidden, for the rest of the movie. Add a box. Place it at frame 20, then, at frame 31. Move the box so it animates and make it invisible. The box should only be visible between frames 20 to 30. The movie properties can be viewed by clicking nothing in the editor or by choosing Select None from the Edit menu. Turn off the loop and auto play movie properties. Notice how the on start and on end, script properties are now available. Set the on start script property to, play loop, set the start frame to 0 and the end frame to 10. This script will run when the movie starts. See how only the first 10 frames are played as a loop. Add a new button, and set the text to, end. Add the button to the editor, at the bottom. Here, we demonstrate how frames in the timeline, can be dragged to different positions. Drag the frame for the button to frame 0. Add a frame for the button at frame 11, and make it invisible. Select the button in the library and set the onclick script property to play clip. Set the start frame to 20 and the end frame to 30. Now, when you play the movie, the circle animation loops from frame 0 to 10. Press the end button to play the box animation from frame 20 to 30 and then stop. Let's see that again.